I am president of the United States of America, and the buck stops with me. I'll take responsibility. I'll acknowledge my mistakes when I make them, and I'll level with the American people. So I'm sick of this stuff. We have to talk about it because the American people think the reason for inflation is government spending more money. Simply not true. It's going to go up. <laughs> Can't do much right now. Russia's responsible. It's simply not true that my administration or policies are holding back domestic energy production. That's simply not true. I'm going to do everything I can to minimize Putin's price hike here at home. Because of the actions of President Putin, because he invaded a sovereign country, that created instability in the markets. The reason why the price of gas is going up is not because of steps the president has taken. They are because President Putin is invading Ukraine. You may have noticed this week that your gas prices have gone up. I want to talk to you a little bit about why. A lot of it has to do with Vladimir Putin. A big reason for inflation is Vladimir Putin. Don't you bear some responsibility for the outcome if the Taliban ends up back in control and women end up losing the no, rights? No, I don't. Look, are you telling me that we should go into China because go to war with China because what they're doing to the Uyghurs, a million Uyghurs in the, out in the West in concentration camps? Is that what you're saying to me? It was your quote, sir. I was asking you. No, I know. I gave you my, I gave the answer. You, do I bear responsibility? Zero responsibility. Let's be absolutely clear about why prices are high now. They're high for two reasons. One was COVID. The way the global economy works, if a factory in Taiwan that makes computer chips shuts down due to a COVID outbreak, it causes a ripple effect to slow down auto manufacturing in Detroit, literally, not figuratively. So because of the pandemic, we had significant disruptions in the supply chain. And our supply chain is so important with so many materials that come from other places. At the same time, because the rescue plan boosted the strength and speed of our recovery, Americans had more money in their pockets. And during the pandemic, they wanted to spend that money not on restaurants and vacations because of COVID, but on hard goods home improvements, televisions, automobiles. But the lumber factories weren't open. They weren't making two-by-fours. Plywood wasn't available. I can go down the list. The very products that we needed for the things they wanted to buy are slowed down by disruptions in the supply chain. So what happens? Prices went up significantly. Just look at automobiles. Last year, Automobiles, new automobiles counted for one-third of all the inflation in America because the auto companies couldn't get the computer chips. The price of an automobile skyrocketed. And now, the second big reason for inflation is Vladimir Putin and gas prices. Not a joke. We've seen the price of gas go up over a dollar just since he put his troops on the border, on the border of Ukraine. They went up a dollar and five cents. Big part of that reason is Putin began amassing troops along the border and then crossed. And guess what? The world took notice. The market anticipated. Prices went up. And then Putin invaded. Make no mistake, the current spike in gas prices is largely the fault of Vladimir Putin. It has nothing to do with the American Rescue Plan. 